Hello and welcome back to Sensible's webinar about Greeks. In the previous webinar, we talked extensively about Delta. In this webinar, we'll talk about the other three big Greeks, which is Theta, Vega and Gamma. Theta is time value decay of options. It is a change in option price with passage of one day. Theta is positive means that you get the time value, which usually happens when you sell options. And theta negative means that you lose time value, which usually happens when you have bought options, right? Theta changes every day and it usually increases. There's a corner case to that. We'll discuss it later or probably in a scope webinar about theta alone. But for now, it is important to understand that theta is not a constant number. It keeps changing every day and more often than not, usually around ATM strikes, theta increases every day, which means your time value decay increases every day. Let's just de demonstrate it. If you bought an option, let's say Infosys call option at price of 10 rupees. If it does not change in one day, the call price will drop from 10 to 8, which is 2 rupees. Then it will drop from 8 to 5, which is 3 rupees. And on the last day, it will drop from 5 to 0, which is 5 rupees. Right? So this is how theta dk happens, which is an exponentially increasing function. Not exactly exponentially, let's just call it an increasing function. So let's look at an option in which there are 1000 days left to expiry. So let's say I sold you an option which has 1000 days left in expiry and let's see how that one goes, right? So on day one, let's say the option value was 5000 rupees and let's say one day passed and you had some movement against you or in your favor or something or let's say it's roughly right there and now you come to me and ask what's the price of the option now i'll be telling you yeah there is 999 days left what change in option are you talking about nothing will change it's at the same price but you'll still say but then one day has changed it has to have some effect on option price so i'll say fine let's just call it 50 pesos 4999.5 rupees one more day passes, you'll again come to me and ask, what about now? I'll be like, 998 days left, what are you talking about? It'll drop a little bit, right? So in the initial few days, you can see that you'll always think about it like there are so many days left, what should change, right? So the option price does not decay because of passage of time much in the first few days, which also means that theta decay is low in the first few days. But option price will rapidly drop towards expiry. So the practical application of that is, let's say you sold Nifty 11,000 ATM with three days to expiry at 40 rupees. The theta for this option is, let's say around seven rupees. Next day, this option will be worth roughly 33 rupees. And your theta based PNL is seven multiplied by lot size, 525 rupees. Or let's say you bought an SBI 270 call at five rupees, your theta is 40 paise. If market does not move, you lose roughly 0.4 into lot size, 3000, which is 1200 rupees. That's quite a bit of money on a single lot, right? Yeah. So theta is something which you have to be very careful about. Okay, let's go on. What will happen to option price with passage of time? Options with less time left are cheap and they are massively cheap towards expiry and they are also less likely to make money. We already know this, that options don't lose time value linearly. They lose less value each day initially. That's because no one cares if there's a hundred days left, kind of. <laughs> And the loss is very high towards the end, which probably is because people really panic when it hits them. It's, that's not really the reason. There's a mathematical reason to that, but let's just understand it this way. So options lose value rapidly towards expiry. Uh, that kind of means that expiry buying of options is like a cheap lottery, but then cheap, but then cheap lotteries also don't often come true. So theta versus time, options with a lot of time decay slow, options with very little time decay fast, which is true for ATM and near ATM. There's an OTM corner case, but again, we are not discussing that here because these options are so OTM that you practically wouldn't care about their value. So theta is nearly zero for deep OTM options. It gradually increases and peaks at around ATM and drops back to zero for ITM. So the reason for that is simple. If you have very deep OTM option, it's not like that there is any value in the option itself that it can decay much, right? Or in other words, if Nifty is 10,300 and you have a 12,000 call for let's say November, 
one day today is not the one which is going to change the price of that option that options price can only be impacted by major moves or major change in wall the, like one day's passage is the last thing you should be worried about when you have a 12000 call with 30 days to expire which is 1700 points away so let's do a visualization of theta was a spot in builder so i have a roughly atm option of 10 250 call of november expiry you can see that the theta is around 301 rupees per day you can see that it's dropping to the left and you can see that it's dropping to the right so theta decreases when it becomes more itm or otm so the next question is how does theta vary with implied volatility so when iv increases option price increases and when option price increases the value it loses each day will also increase that's fairly straightforward so here is our option and let's try to increase its iv and you can see that theta is going up that's also because the option price itself is going up this brings us to the close of our segment about theta now let's talk about vega vega is a change in option price with change in implied volatility when iv increases option price goes up because you know you're hopeful that something will happen iv is positive when you buy options both call and put which means you make a profit when iv goes up you make a loss when iv goes down IV is negative when you sell options both call and put which means pro it, it's a profit when IV goes up and loss when IV goes down Vega is negative when you sell options which means it's a profit when IV goes down and loss when IV goes up Example calculation you bought nifty option with Vega of 10 rupees and per lot Vega is nothing but 75 into 10 750 rupees if nifty wall changes from 13 to 14 you will gain 750 rupees on vega so he, here's an important piece of information vega does not talk about change in your pnl when volatility changes by 1% it talks about your change in pnl when volatility changed by 1 point so it's not the change we are looking at when iv changes from 13 to 13.13 it is the change we are looking at when iv changes from 13 to 14 right which is one wall point and not one percentage point so let's take another example you have sold a jet airways 260 put at 20 rupees in august iv is at 90 and vega is 70 paisa so if iv drops from 90 to 10 you'll make 7 rupees on vega which is equal to 7 into 1200 which is 8400 rupees right this type of trade is also called an iv crusher now let's take another example you have bank nifty at 26000 you sold a 26000 call and put which is a straddle before some event each option has a vega of 1000 bucks so your net vega when iv drops by 2 points is 2 into 2000 or 4000 bucks right this is how people uh, trade during let's say events which turn out non events and make money on iv so vega much like theta starts zero for deep otm gradually increases peaks at atm and drops back to zero for itm reason is simple right if you have very deep otm option it's not like increased volatility will make you any money it's it's practically gone so that's why the vega is very low on that similarly if you have deep itm it's not like increased volatility is going to lose you any money it will stay itm if it is itm therefore the vega value on that is practically zero So let's say you have a Nifty twenty thousand call option with one month validity, and if there's an RBI event tomorrow, it's not like the option price will change. No one cares about the volatility when that uh, strike itself is so far from ATM. Uh, but let's say I have Nifty seven thousand call option with again one month validity. This is as good as future. So future doesn't have a Vega, right? So if you have a seven thousand call, it is as good as having a future. There is no Vega on a future, therefore the Vega is zero. there's a there's a exact reason to why vega is zero even in a nifty itm or any itm option right but we'll figure that out uh, in another webinar probably but for now it is more important to realize what is the connection between vega and spot now let's do the visualization of vega versus spot so i'm going to add a nifty 10 250 call and here's the vega 
you can see the Vegas around 226 right now this option is around ATM I go left Vega drops I go right Vega drops next let's talk about Vega versus time so if there is more time volatility can cause big moves right so you are giving volatility so much more time to work its effect which means that if you have an option and its volatility increases if it has enough time left to expiry it might just work in your favor or against you depending on how it goes right which means that an option with more time left will benefit more if volatility increases which means that it has a higher sensitivity to volatility in the presence of a higher time to expiry therefore long dated options have higher vega and short dated options have lower vega or let's go for a december option even better so you can see that it has a vega of 1300 bucks per lot which is immense if time to expiry goes down you can see that the vega is steadily dropping finally we talk about gamma gamma is a change of delta with change of spot it is a second derivative of option price with respect to spot gamma matters only when you trade near the expiry trade near the atm and trade in big quantities this is a curve of gamma versus spot so again much like theta and vega you can see that gamma goes up peaks near the atm and then comes down gamma decreases with increase in time to expiry and this is because delta does not change much when there's a high number of days to go this is because if there is a lot of time left to expiry the delta of the option is almost always close to 0.5 right so it doesn't change much therefore gamma is very low for a long dated option <laughs> gamma decreases with iv and this is because again delta did not change much like we explained earlier when there is high iv so if there is high iv delta is more or less sticky and because of that gamma is low the practical applications of gamma is as follows if you want to play a delta game near expiry you should bet on a short term option rather than a long term option let's summarize everything we have learned in this webinar plus the previous one on delta let's look at theta vega gamma first because they are similar in their behavior and they can be grouped and understood simply so theta vega and gamma they all peak at the atm they are low when it is itm or otm right so itm options and otm options have very low theta vega gamma atm options have very high theta vega and gamma what's the connection between these three and time it's more or less similar so high theta means low days to expiry low theta means high days to expiry vega is high when days to expire are high vega is low when days to expire is low right and gamma and theta are similar when it comes to time there is high gamma for low days to expiry and low gamma for high days to expiry in fact gamma and theta are the two closest greeks in this bunch of four or even three right so let's just look at iv now theta increases when iv goes up and theta decreases when iv goes down this is also something which we discussed earlier now let's look at gamma because that's closer so gamma increases when iv decreases right and gamma decreases when iv increases again it might look a little incomprehensible now but we have discussed this earlier go back and visit it it'll, it'll be op obvious to you why this happens right and finally what's the connection between vega and iv okay this is a little bit of a toughie if you're really interested you can see what happens in the builder right because this is a derivative of vega with respect to iv or it is a double derivative of option price with respect to iv right now that we have done with theta gamma vega let's look at delta so delta is in increasing from 0 to 1 all the time in case of an uh, put option it is 0 to minus 1 right delta has this relationship with time if it's an itm option it decreases when time increases if it's an otm option it increases when time increases delta has this relationship with iv so if it's an itm option delta decreases when iv increases and if it's an otm option 
delta increases when iv increases right so that kind of summarizes everything we have learned in the last two uh, webinars i hope you are able to understand and appreciate greeks in a much better intuitive manner now and you are able to make uh, reasonably good trading decisions on choosing which option is better than the other for your particular view using this understanding of greeks thank you so much for joining us and have a great time trading